Hi everyone, in today's video, you will learn how to convert your static WordPress shortcodes into dynamic ones using the Dynamic Wool Dynamic Shortcodes plugin. So if that's something that interests you, stick around and we we'll jump right into it. For the longest time, I've been using Presto Player as my go-to plugin for displaying my YouTube videos on my tutorial website, and I must say it has been working great for me so far. But as I've been learning more about accessibility, I discovered that when I checked on the WordPress Accessibility Facebook group, that a question was posed about accessible video players for WordPress, and the answer that we're given shows that plugins like Presto Player, while they are quite powerful, they are not really built with accessibility in mind. So for screen reader users, they will struggle to use the videos on the website and you cannot add some other functionalities like captions and some other things like that. So the recommendation was that we should use Able Player, which is fully accessible and it is free. So you can go ahead and check it on GitHub. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And the good thing is that there is also a WordPress plugin that helps you to use the framework of the accessible able player. And all you have to do is use shortcodes. So, and this is how the shortcode works. So basically you start with the square braces, then you use able player. Then you go ahead and add in some IDs. So your YouTube ID, that is just, when you go to your YouTube video, the last 11 characters, is the YouTube ID, or you can copy the entire URL using the shareable link, but make sure you delete everything that starts from the question mark and continues. That is the query parameters because you just need the URL itself. You can add other information, like if you have an alternate YouTube video that is audio description only, you can use that. You can add in some other properties like YouTube no cookie to make sure that it is enhanced privacy. You can add autoplay loop and so many other things. You can also add a poster so that when the video first opens up, your poster shows up until we press the play button. But like I was looking at it, this is great. But when I want to use it inside like my single post template, how do I now make this shortcode to be dynamic so that the URL changes per post? So that was the challenge that I was having. And thankfully, I realized that with dynamic shortcodes, you can do that easily, uh, which is what we're going to be looking at in today's video. So let's, let's go ahead and see how the able player works. This is a blank page. I'll use the shortcodes widget, then open and close the square braces, say able player space YouTube dash ID equal to then I'll go ahead and put in the YouTube ID. So let me go to an example here. Copy it. This is just the shareable link. Then I'll paste it. So now we have this. Let me go ahead and update it. And then preview on the front end. So yeah, this is it. But now it is working all fine and good. But I now want to make this ID to be dynamic because I want to use it in my single post template. So now let's go ahead and open a single post template that I created already. So let me go ahead and edit the template. So go to the template. So here we have the template. The video itself doesn't show up on the back end, but it will show up on the front end. Let me get rid of this. So now here is the template. All I'm using is dynamic shortcode. So let me go ahead and delete it. So First, we now go ahead and choose the dynamic shortcodes. Then I'll click on the wrench icon and open and close the curly brace. That is the dynamic shortcode, which is different from your standard shortcodes. And now to start a WordPress shortcode, you have to start with WP dash shortcode. Then you put the colon and then you give the name of the shortcode. In this case, it's able player. Next, we now have to add those parameters like the YouTube ID. So I'll say at in this case, 
That's the difference between this shortcode and the standard shortcodes. For this one, whenever you want to add in the parameters, you have to use the add symbol. So at YouTube dash ID equal to the just do it the standard one first. Okay, this is it. Copy. Then I'll paste it. Then I'll save and preview just to show you that it works. As you can see, it works here. Let me just refresh it. Close this. Refresh. You see, that video is here. But then now, this is back to the same thing. It is still static. But since it's in a shortcode now from dynamic shortcodes, everything within that shortcode can be made dynamic. So let me go back and show you what I mean. So you can go back to the wrench icon. And this time, rather than using this YouTube URL, I can now use another shortcode. So for the ID, I'll now open and close another shortcode. And this time, I'll get the meta field, which is YT link in this case. And it is a jet engine meta field. So I'll use the jet shortcode. So let me... Is it okay? Yeah, this is it. So I'll say jet column, then I'll paste in that shortcode I copied, and we get back the same thing. But now the difference is that it is now dynamic. So let me show you what I mean. So publish this, check on the front end. You see, we still have that video again, which is the placeholder for required select field. So now let me go and show you some other tutorials. So go back, go to tutorial templates. And pick one at random. So let me say this tooltip demo. Preview it. See? You get that tooltip video. I go back and check the other one, two column layout. Preview it. I get the two column video because those videos were, if I edit it, the video, the link is coming from here, the YT link. And that's how it is now dynamic. So basically, it's now making it more powerful. So you can take your static shortcodes and then the parameters within that static shortcodes, you can make them dynamic. So you can pull in your maybe ACF field to get the URL. And maybe you have like a calendar shortcode and that calendar shortcode is supposed to display maybe some dates from a particular month on different pages. You can now use this dynamic shortcode to pull in from an options page or something else and mix and match the WordPress shortcode with your dynamic shortcodes. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, please do leave a like, share the video, write in the comment that it helped you. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer that question. And if you have any other way you think you want me to show you how to use dynamic shortcodes to accomplish that task, then Leave it in the comment section as well, and I will go and research it for you. So that's it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.